Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate. We're going to be starting off where we uh, left off last time, heading south towards the Nashgal Mines to investigate the Iron Crisis. Seeing as how all the iron coming out of the mines is brittle and uh, unusable for anything, whether it be making swords or making plows. I'm going to start off by talking to Oblek here. He confuses you for Grey Wolf and offers you 200 gold pieces, but it's a better idea in the long run to tell him that you're not Grey Wolf. You'll get a run point reputation increase uh, right off the bat, and then later, when you if you if you decide to do the bounty mission quest, you'll get rewarded. Otherwise, he won't reward you. He'll call you a thief. Um, we'll talk to this guy here. Possibly one of the funniest characters in the game. Welcome to Minsk, a crazy uh, ranger, and I think we'll we'll just let him um, talk for himself. He says that uh, he asks you to go help him rescue his charge uh, named Dinah here. We'll see the classic dilemma of a damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? And he says, Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm, my friend and companion ever since my head wound. He will lead us to victory! Onward to the Null stronghold in the west! Tarry not! We must go soon! Yeah, he's, he's great, to be honest. He actually even has the miniature giant space hamster, Boo. Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minx believes that Boo is a miniature giant space hamster, you're rather certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. He even uh, is in Minx's quick item slot, making it impossible to uh, making it impossible to have Minx uh, use another quick item. We're gonna put him up in the front. <laughs> swords for everyone yeah well he um he's a beast to be honest uh he may be a ranger but don't be fooled he is probably a best described as a barbarian he has a strength of 18 out of 93 which is insane because the highest you can roll with a fighter class character on that additional strength bonus right there is a hundred so it can only be seven points higher his dexterity 15 you know you get a negative one on your armor class for that not too bad constitution could be better but you know still you get a plus one on your hit points but he's just He's just a bombastic tycoon with the ability to go to berserk and he he he's a ranger but he has two hand he's proficient with uh two handed weapons and maces you know no bows he's he's a tank and who doesn't just love listening to him talk well enough about minx uh we'll be uh he'll we'll be enjoying his company for at least a little bit um but first, I'm going to go check on one of the local miner's wives. Uh, no, it's not what you think. We're not paying a visit to her in the middle of the night for notorious deeds. But uh, we will ask her about her husband and uh, see if there's any way that we can help her. Oh, it's locked. I think Imowen can take care of that. Yep. Nice little 10-point experience point bonus, but <laughs> ultimately uh, not that high. Well, we'll talk to... Maybe we should have... I think Amorin has the highest charisma, because I think there's a chance she'll accuse you of breaking and entering. Um... No, you just have to select the right thing. Let's see. Uh, do you have any information about the problems of the mine? And... Uh, she mentions her husband. We'll tell her that uh, we'll look out for her, and she says that the most identifiable... Uh, way to recognize him is the green stone ring that is their wedding ring which is actually shows the how the poverty of Nashville green stone ring is worth like three gold hardly anything and um, and uh, you know Nashville is a very poor town um, say hello to Edwin He's a, uh, I think he, uh, it's called a battle mage or a red mage, or he comes from a, a, a group or something like that. Um, he's a witty, sarcastic, a uh, little bit weird um, wizard. He might be a transmuter or an evoker or something. He's a specialist mage at any rate. He talks to himself, and he thinks he's better than everyone. Well, um, to be honest, he asks you to murder Dinahair. 
and I always tell them to bug off. So, we'll be moving on. Nuber! How's it going? Nuber is the most annoying character in the game. He keeps talking to you over and over and over again. However, there is actually a little secret about Nuber, and I will show it to you. Ever think if we just keep talking to him, maybe he'll shut up? Talking to him over and over and over. You want to do it as fast as you can. Well, not as fast, but, you know. Just keep talking to him. He'll say, what about now? What about now? What about now? Just keep talking to him. Keep, keep it up. Keep it up. We must resist the annoyance. Come on. Oh, man. This takes longer than I remember. Come on, man. Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go. Gee, you sure are patient. I've run out of things to say, and you get 400 experience points. Take that, annoying noober. Well, I shouldn't actually boast too much. A friend of mine s named Darkwind, he uh, came up to me and said, Guess what, guess what? I found a way to get more experience points from Nuber. He actually um, assassinates Nuber as he walks off to get 401 experience points. He's so stingy. He plays as a chaotic evil thief, and uh, he's he's insane. When he plays, <laughs> he's the most uh, backstabbing, money-grubbing thief I've ever seen. Well, we'll walk in here and take a gander at some of the uh, some of the uh, local infestations of wild dogs in the mine of Nashville. Um, whoa, Chesney. Looks like you're in a bit of trouble. There we go, that should help you out. That was easy enough. Chesney shouldn't have got hit, but oh well. Alright, let's take a look at... I think there's a healing potion. Oh, I guess some gold. And... I know there's a healing potion. Ah, there it is. You know, they're actually useful early in the game. Uh, healing potions are. Uh, in fact, due to the nature of the first boulder's gate, because you gain levels so slowly, and the maximum level, I think, is is seven. It's actually not a maximum level, but it has a maximum experience point limit. Um, things tend to be stay useful in the game, you know, pretty long, uh, which I think is good. I I think in the second one, the game almost uh, it almost became about leveling up too much. Um, it was like you know just level up, get more powerful, more stuff, and and uh, it kind of ruined the game. I felt like. But uh, we'll get into that later. We're playing the first one, so we'll enjoy this one. Talk to Emerson. Uh, he yells at you and calls you. Says you don't need adventure and fools in the mine, but really he's just stressed out and he just wants the trouble in the mines to stop. So talk to these guards. They'll let us through, and we'll enter our first dungeon, the Nashkel Mines, filled with kobolds everywhere. <laughs> the Nashkel Mines is 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 a mine dis cleverly disguised as a um as a dungeon, or I mean reverse that. It's a dungeon cleverly disguised as a mine. It's a uh, extremely basic, very simple. It uh it gets you used to the the whole dungeon crawling thing without too much danger. All the um, all the miners talk about yip yipping demons, uh, people dying on the lower levels, stuff like that, and they say they all call it hell hole and how it's uh, death is waiting for everyone. Um, although actually I will say I said uh, that that there isn't too much trouble in this mine. Well, that's a lie because the damn kobolds. If you ever play this game, you will be cursing kobolds for the rest of your life. I, you, you just hate them now, please. You have to hate them. There's no other way. But uh, 
That guy, that miner we talked to gave us a dagger that we agreed to return to uh, a friend of his named Kylie. Cool and... Um... So we agreed to do that, of course. And this first level, there's there's really nothing to do, so... We'll just jump down to the lower level here.